Introducing the Aspen Evolution Angle of Attack Indicator. Loss of control is a major cause of up to 40% of fatal general aviation accidents. The typical loss of control accident occurs at low altitude and airspeed when a pilot overshoots the base to final turn while attempting to land. Then when he attempts to get back on center line, he steepens his bank until the aircraft stalls and spins, even though the airspeed was well above the published stall speed. It's a simple fact of aerodynamics. An aircraft's wing will stall at the same angle of attack, AOA, no matter what the indicated airspeed. What is the angle of attack? Simply put, the AOA is the measurement between the wing's cord and the relative wind. Exceed that angle and the wing will stall regardless of the airspeed. Unfortunately, your airspeed indicator is not a reliable source for stall awareness. Although the wing will stall at the same angle of attack, the airspeed at which the airfoil reaches that angle can vary dramatically due to a number of conditions including gross weight, bank angle, load factor, attitude, center of gravity, and airspeed. By collecting data from the aircraft's Attitude and Heading Reference System, AHRS, Aspen's Evolution AOA takes into account all of the aircraft's performance variables to give you a real-time visual stall awareness indication. The Aspen AOA indicator is divided into four vertical sections for easy interpretation in any phase of flight with dual pointers. The top pointer for flaps up and the lower pointer for flaps down configurations. The bottom blue band depicts the aircraft's lowest AOA and highest cruising efficiency. The green band shows the normal operating area. The green-yellow transition point is considered the optimum AOA. The yellow band shows the caution zone. The yellow and black crosshatch at the top indicates the stalling zone. Now let's look at how Aspen's AOA can help prevent a loss of control accident. As the pilot steepens his bank, the lower pointer enters into the yellow caution area, providing ample warning of the approaching stall condition. Even though the aircraft's ASI shows 80 knots well above the stalling speed, that caution zone starts in the yellow bands. Setting up for a normal approach, the pilot is going to keep the lower pointer in the upper part of the green zone on the AOA display. This assures that the pilot safely flies the published normal approach speed while providing the highest level of stall margin awareness. Setting up for a short field approach, the pilot is going to keep the lower pointer near the green-yellow transition zone on the display. This assures the pilot is flying the short field approach speed while providing the highest level of stall margin awareness. Aspen's AOA is based on proprietary algorithms developed by CIRA, the Italian Center for Aerospace Research. Using data from the Aspen Attitude Heading Reference System, these software algorithms calculate the aircraft's AOA regardless of speed, attitude, bank angle, flap and landing gear position, and weight and balance. If you already own an Aspen Evolution 1000 PFD or MFD, there is no installation of any equipment required. No wiring or mounting of external wing or fuselage sensors or probes. The Aspen Evolution AOA is a simple software upgrade.